Yeah, I grew up on the Upper West Side, right by Central Park. Uh, I used to, you know, sell little dime bags of herb in uh, Central Park. It just, you know, that's how I made my money, because my mother didn't give me any money. You know, you know what I'm saying? I, none of you look like I would pick you for success. I mean, I, you, but you, you know, you know what I'm saying. No offense, but you wouldn't be the one I would say, oh, this one's a yuppie type. Now, your parents must be six of the happiest people in the world. Mm -hmm. Trying to find out, how are your parents taking this? Because you guys are coping with it and having fun. Well, how do your not parents many take would it? Notice, but... Michael looks like the kind of misguided youth of the group. <laughs> I so our like, album comes out in 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 August. It's real deaf. I just like, like deaf stuff. I look like the kid that picked one too many <laughs> pennies off the street. No, when someone goes yeah, out. <laughs> yes, did you get in any any sports in high school? High school, I gotta be honest. I stopped doing sports, but I got into moshing. Like you know, in the pit. true that you guys are getting together with your own line of clothing is this uh, is any truth to that rumor guys uh yeah yeah well, that's yes, true so we're gonna have your uh, mca diapers your uh ad rock uh undergarments and your mike d hosiery ordinary household item there's a woman with her baby out there we don't want to hit her but sometimes you just got to as not boring as it sounds much. to people that watch tv right i'm not going to talk right like we weren't going to talk any more about this <laughs> we're going to have some more music now this is run dmc and walk this way cool what are you going to do if you are nominated next year? I'll probably just roll around in my house naked in a lot of mayonnaise. We're going to have our own personalized Mr. Potato Heads. You're going to have Yauk as Potato Head, Adrock as Potato this Head. This one is already me. You can tell by the Mike sideways the nose head. and the other nose on the ear. We're also going to have John. We're also going to have our own personalized uh <laughs> Sexy. It's a sexy, sexy bunch of soul classics. It's a mosh, sexy Sexy classics. hardcore classics. Yeah, but it's sexy in all directions, you know, it's funky, sexy, just all around sexy. Hold it now! Hold it now. now, after these British dates, you're off to Japan, yes? Yep. Yeah. Land of the rising yen. The rising yen. You looking forward to it? Kind of gonna Should be cool. Stage, yeah. yeah, you know, I think we'll drink some sake <laughs> hammers. I want to get, get a tattoo of a dragon. You get a really deaf tattoo on your neck. My arm. On the back of your neck. Well, look, if you do get those tattoos on the back of your neck. Apart from playing shows, you ever play uh, at home wrestling? I'm told that it's sweeping America. I should ask that because I did used to wash dogs a long time ago. Right, let's see if we can get them up on yeah. the up. I don't think the dog's going to home wrestling. Are you going to home what cuisine would describe this album? Check your head. If you had to pick a cuisine. A souffle. Mike, you want to tell him why? Well, a souffle is where you've got these few different ingredients. You know, you could do a lot of different flavors of souffle. A lot of people don't realize just how many different types of souffle there are. Chocolate, vanilla cheese, whatnot. Like, say your mother calls up and says, my friends are asking me what kind of music you play. What would you, how would you describe your music to her? I would say, Mom, it's kind of like a metal maniac talk show, game show with a funky beat type of thing. But, because, you know, we're opening our own TV show. Called Metal Date. <laughs> I've heard about that. Is it yeah. animated? <laughs> you don't. You don't like. To, you don't like to play the game. Of, <laughs> you don't like to play the game. Of. Making the carrot and beet mixture a little bit, not too much. Come on, Yao. Hey, hey, Yao. Easy on the ginger. Yeah. Step up. Yeah. Some say that's the way it could be done, carrots. but really. Get that puppy in there. Come on, Evan. Go. Hey, Yao. What's happening? Evan stole the cup. Evan, you're making a mess in your own area. Eminem uh, just released a new album. His album cover is a tribute to your mm -hmm. first album cover. Uh, I think he took some heat for it because some people thought he was ripping you off. But. To me, an, an homage, yeah. whatever, so we feel flattered. You do? Yeah. I, I mean, I haven't heard the record, but I'm... <laughs> and then I have the drum beat. Best elements. 
in terms of our songs, right. but like playing. Making <laughs> 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 a little of this flavor, like the clavinet with the wah wah, like Fuck the prom! Yo, and when the teacher says, you gotta go to the prom, you say, fuck you, man! <laughs> Another set. I feel invigorated. Let him have his microphone. No. 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 This is a suggestion. There's a different alternate present chainmail. Hmm? Chainmail. Like writing letters to people or like, no, like armor? Armor. You know, good to have around the house. I'm planning to do some swimming, so I don't know if the chainmail really is going to work. I like to. I keep armor on hand. Let me tell you why. Because I never know when this fucking numbskull you know is going to break into my ass. Our new DVD, Awesome, I Eppin' Shot That, which chronicles the band at their concert <laughs> at Madison Square Garden. And it's so cool. Yo. Let me tell I you. actually showered today. This interview so is it's... going fucking swimmingly. When you look back at the footage, did you get what you were expecting? Which is just spontaneity, I guess. Spontaneity? Well, that's not a word. It's not spontaneity. A word. You know what? No, spontaneity. <laughs> There's a part where me pee fee dressed like clown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, the DVD is awesome. I fucking shot that. <laughs> and here's here's what I want to know. You guys, you guys have been on stage performing hundreds of concerts. But Time now to see. <laughs> The lovely bachelor that you will be going out on a lovely day with. Bachelor, bachelor number, number one, one Mike, Mike Dean. Dean. Uh, oh, driver, could you uh, take a few laps around around the beach park, the park, park beach there? All right. Uh. Were you surprised about to watch on this DVD that you didn't maybe realize that you do when you're performing? Not much because, you know, I, I usually like to watch back the tapes after every performance or gig, as the kids call them, cons, you know, and I like to really work on that, you know, and then the... Are you putting the chair down there so you can just be already sitting while lying down? It's our stylish flat top hair and the stylish clothes we wear and... Any, any notes? <laughs> Hey, what's up? It's Mike D. Ad Rock from the Beatsy Boitsy. <laughs> <laughs> right. Coming up next, Amari lays down the hammer. And when sanity rocks the garden. I thought that was the one. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I felt good about that one. <laughs> Coming up next, which Nick's dunks? Wait, oh, dunk, sorry, singular. Yeah, all these yeah if I had a bigger font to work right, with. It, what it is. Where do you yeah. think that the Beastie Boys oh, star should be on Hollywood Boulevard? Me, out of all of Hollywood Boulevard? <laughs> I think it should be sandwiched right next to like Dolly Parton. <laughs> Wait, dude, who's the other one? I Oprah said, Winfrey. Yeah, Did, oh, does Oprah Winfrey have a star? It's got two yet, stars. I, like to be next to Oprah <laughs> I think, yeah, I'd like to be between Dolly and, Op and Oprah. Critics have been saying that you guys have really grown up a lot. What do you think about that? Yeah, mostly Mike. Mostly me. I'm trying, because I'm going for the older lady audience. You know, like, like, like right now, I figure I'm about like where Sting and Don Henley are. <laughs> but in a couple of years, I'm going to get to the real senior citizens. That would be nice. The main thing is... You know, Dave Skilkin's in there. All right, it's yes, a longer... Tell me why, tell me why no, but look, it's longer, right? So there's more you could do, I think. Uh -huh, like you know, that. I mean, like, more quantity. And there's a lot more to look at. But it's really the quant... It's the quantity thing, really. Oh, I think the album cover will help a lot of people at home fulfill a lot of hours that they might have with nothing else to do, and now they can look at that. You always live now. You live in L.A., you live in New York. <laughs> I live in first class. I'm, uh, I'm, I myself am living large, I gotta say.